In the last video on my channel I made a couple months ago, we went over four unusual money makers and a couple of those actually netted over 2 mil GP per profit every hour. So today I want to make a new video, two months later, with three new methods for unusual money makers. So if you can remember from the last video, Loves of Silence did hold the top spot at just over 2.2 mil an hour, followed by the Hunter's Crossbow at 2.1 mil, Hook Crab Meat at just under 1.3 mil, and then Giant Frog Legs at 360k an hour. So today I'm going to show you three new methods. First, we have a crafting method that requires 85 crafting. This can be done with as low as 81 crafting. You just need to use a mushroom pie that boosts your levels by 4. So this costs about 2k GP, so it's not bad. All you need are planks and clockworks for this method. Planks are about 300 GP, clockworks are about 700 GP. So making this all in all a 1k investment for each toy cat we're going to be creating. First, I teleport to my house to use the clockwork bench level 4. I ate a piece of the pie. I put on that preserve prayer because that boosts your stats by 50%. So it'll last an extra minute. I brought 12 planks and 12 clockworks for each run. I set a quick 10 minute timer just to see how many we could make in 10 minutes. And then I'll multiply that by six at the end. Here at the clockwork bench, it's option four, clockwork toy, then option five, clockwork cat. Just rinse and repeat, teleport back to the bank, deposit the cats, get more supplies. Um, could be more efficient, I guess, but uh, this is as efficient as, as I was going to get. So after about 10 minutes, I was able to create 114 clockwork cats and I got 1,710 XP. So it's not for nothing. So you're gaining a little bit of XP while making a lot of GP. First, I put them in the GE for about 2650 and they didn't sell. So eventually I just sold them all for about 2,500 GP, leaving us with 289K. So once we subtract out the cost of the pies, the planks, the clockworks, we're left with 164K. So since I did this in about 10 minutes, multiply that by six, and I got 985K profit per hour. Not bad. For this next one, all you're going to need is sweet corn and pots. Sweet corn is about 60 GP, and the pots are going for about nine or 10 GP. So this is going to cost you about 70 GP investment. You need to be near a windmill and a bank to be as efficient as possible. So I picked the cooking guild because there's a windmill upstairs and a bank downstairs. So all you do here is you add one sweet corn to the hopper and then pull the lever and just repeat that process. So I did 14 corn, 14 pots per inventory. Again, set a 10 minute timer. Once the corn is grinded up, you go downstairs, you collect the pots bank it, and then repeat the process. So in about 10 minutes, I was able to make 148 of these. I chucked them in at 2K GP in the Grand Exchange, and I let them sit. It did take a couple hours to sell. I'll tell you why in a second. But eventually, they all sold for 293K. So I subtract out the cost of the pots, which was 1,332 GP, and then the sweet corn, which was 8,880 GP, multiplied by that by 6, and we've got 1,696,000 GP an hour. So hold up before you guys freak out and say, oh my God, this is a 1.7 mil GP an hour profit. Oh my God. Well, listen up. You're going to crash the price of these because a few of you might get lucky if you watch this and do it right away. But currently there's only one use for these and it's uh, freeing Sir Amrit Vars. I believe that's how you pronounce his name in the sub quest for Recipe for Disaster. So it's not really a hot ticket item in the GE. Nobody's really looking for them. Nobody's buying them. They're at this high price because I believe nobody's making these things. So you might get lucky. Last but not least, our last unusual moneymaker we have is stealing cave goblin wire. Yes, a random unique item. So the wire, you can... Steal it from the wire machine in Dorgashan, which is right under the Lumbridge Castle. You do need 44 thieving for this. And you'll get two wires each time for a total of 22 XP every time you take it. Sometimes you will get stunned for, I think, about five seconds. And you'll take a little bit of damage. So just be careful if you're low HP. You might die, but not a big deal. So you only need to steal from this thing 14 times every run. 
so it's pretty quick and there's a bank just right up north so i just head up these stairs here head direct directly straight north to the bank deposit the wire and then i come right back so again i set a 10 minute timer um these things are only used to create a light orb which fixes the magical lanterns here around the city decent xp not really sure who's doing these but hey i mean they sell in the ge so you might as well do it they sell for about 1500 gp right now so after 10 minutes i was able to collect 128 of these and this is pure profit guys you're not using anything you're getting a little bit of xp and again you're getting a lot of gp here so 202k profit in 10 minutes so we multiply that by six you're getting 1 million 215,000 gp per hour so to close it out this hits our top five spot so as you can see here we now have seven unusual money makers and gloves of silence is still at the top spot of 2,220k an hour so that's huge followed by the hunter's crossbow pot of corn flour is now number three followed by cooked crab meat cave goblin wire has hit number five Poi cats number six and the giant frog legs at number seven thank you guys so much for watching yet again another great video please do like comment subscribe anything i really appreciate it it helps out the small channel i love you guys we'll see you guys in the next video